down just a hair. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you guys are all well. Um, this is what I've got so far cover wise for the Alice in Wonderland journal. There's the bag. Um, I got some lovely happy mail from Chestita, who is a sub subscriber of mine, but she is also a friend of mine on Facebook. And she sent me this little book that had some uh, pictures and uh, text pages out of this little book. And I thought, what a perfect thing to add to the cover. And that's what this is. This was part of the back, and I just cut it down. And this was from another book that I had that was Alice in Wonderland. Because I had uh, three. Uh, besides a copy that I have for... Uh, reading or uh, you know to keep in my own collection um i've used this came out of a coloring book and i just got it in as like a little tuck spot this came off some packaging uh, which was an ice cube tray that my daughter has and i haven't done anything you know special to the back or anything yet i was just seeing if it would fit in here and it does and um this one is a tag that I made, you know, that has mushrooms on it for Miss Peace Group, but it's got the playing cards, and um, it also fits in the back, which came from the coloring book. And that's all I've done besides sewing the pages in. Now, the main theme for this is the color red. Um, and, of course, it does have that color blue, but I mostly did red simply because... In the original books, Alice's dress is red, and her hair is actually brown. But, um, but you know, it's got, like, the little cards, playing cards. Uh, these are from Digitals that I got from Etsy. You know, different, uh, different, uh, shops. So, it's, you know, more than one digital that's been used. Uh, and one of them was from Victoria Designs, and I think she is having a sale right now, or she was. Um, <clears throat> so, it's got two signatures in, and I've got uh, charms. So, I've got a little Alice charm here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And a little teapot. And I have... Uh, the Mad Hatter's Hat. And the dogs are going to start barking again. And the little Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. However you say it. Um, so that is what I have so far. I'm just going to close that up. And I've got those two tags made. Or, well, I haven't finished the one because i got to back it and everything. Um... <clears throat> So that is what I've got. Uh, I've got a couple of stamps I've got that I'll be using. I'm thinking about putting some lace. Got some red lace here. Uh, around the spine of the cover to kind of make it a closed spine, as it were. Um, but I've got some stamps that I'll be using as well. <clears throat> got some with the, uh, these are Alice in Wonderland stamps that I got from AliExpress. And I've got some mushrooms. And some more mushrooms. I've got these mushrooms, which y'all have seen before. And I've got this little teapot. And I've got some ephemera. I've got a <clears throat> from packaging and whatnot. And I've got some old playing cards that I want to alter. But I also have this little bookmark that I want to put in there. It's got the white rabbit on there. And some of the books. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Uh, a golden book. And um, just another Alice in Wonderland book. I usually use that as a glue book. Um... <clears throat> And I also have, um, this is where I got the charms from. It's a bracelet that's way too big for me. And even putting it on the last setting, it just falls right off. It's even too big for my ankle. 
Um, but it's got the mirror left. I got the drink me, the white rabbit. Uh, it says made with care in Wonderland. A key, the clock, and then some of the charms, you know, for the colors that are used in Alice in Wonderland. But that's where I got the other two charms from. And <clears throat> I got this little Harlequin stamp. It is made from Inka Dinka Inka Dinka Do. I don't know, you know, how long ago it was made or anything. I got this at a thrift store. But and it kind of gives like a distressed look. I got a um scrap piece of paper here. So I can collage for because I need to make some pockets and things like that. Um and I also have, uh, <clears throat> this came from the coloring book that I cut down. I didn't know what I wanted to do with that yet. This was part of the, one of the kits. This was a, this was the book sleeve from, uh, this book here, uh, which is actually where... Uh, that part, the fly leaf, fly paper, whatever came from, was on the inside. So, of that, that I thought I might use somewhere. And, uh, um, these images here came out of one of the books, and that's from the Golden Book. And this is from um, the book with the cover on it. <clears throat> and that uh, came from the little book that Chestita sent me. These come from the little golden book. Thought I'd use them to make journaling cards or pockets and stuff with. Some more images that Chestita sent me. They make great little tuck spots and um, cards and stuff. So I gotta back those. Uh, but the text, oops, let's see. It's pretty big on those, so I could even use words, which I've got some over there in a pile. <clears throat> so. I've got images of those to use. Uh, basically, I'm just doing an update for you guys. One here. I'm not actually going to start on decorating anything at the moment. Um, <clears throat> I've got a couple of these little journaling cards that I'm going to, you know, kind of decorate up. Maybe put words on too and ink around and all that good stuff. And, uh couple of uh, tags that I can use. Uh, <coughs> still got to alter the playing card. <coughs> and I have uh, these which I can use which is used on the inside and these come from die cuts with a view. The uh, heirloom stack. Um, it's pretty expensive now on Amazon, but you might be able to find it with a Google search a lot cheaper. Because it's just some off cuts of those. Um, and then I've got these little random scraps, which was used in the background. Uh, but these are also in the same colors that I might use to, like, back stuff with or whatnot. Or make pockets or, or something. I figured I... I had plenty of stuff to work with there to uh, <clears throat> make stuff with. And I've just got everything in a little project tab. I keep an empty one or, you know, one that I can use to put my projects in. I don't um, generally work on more than one project at a time um, because I find that I would get burnt out too quickly if I'm working on multiple projects at the same time 
or I would, uh, you know, run out of steam on one of them if I did. <coughs> so I tend to just work on one project at a time. Uh, I've got some uh, eyelets here in red and, well, multiple colors, but got them at the thrift store, but they fit uh, the crocodile perfectly. The, what is it, the quarter inch measurement or whatever it is. Um, so there's that. Uh, got glitter on here. Wipe it off a little bit so I don't keep transferring glitter everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, that's what I got so far. I guess I can uh, put the lace on when I'm talking to you guys. Um, at the end of the month, when I do the drawing for all eight of those... Uh, I think this is the one that I had trimmed down. Was that the one? Pretty certain. Yeah. Uh, I will have to uh, ship them out a couple at a time uh, each week until they're all, you know, shipped out to the winners uh, simply due to finances. Um, I've had to. <clears throat> uh, reduced the number of hours working due to health reasons and you know because of surgeries and whatnot um, but you will all get them just you know didn't want you to think oh well you know she's not going to send them yep yeah, I'm going to send them you will get them. Just may not be, um, you know, right away. And I will have to, um, uh, the giveaways on the channel will have to cease for a while. Um, until I can get my finances back in order. Uh, because of working. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be in a position to where I can work as many hours as what I was working before. Though I'm still working full time. You know, I just don't continuously work and work and work and work like I used to. Uh, due to health reasons. Um, that being said, um, I hope you guys can understand. Because I don't want it to be a situation where I continue... To do giveaways, but then can only do them, you know, for the United States. Because I don't feel like that's very fair to the people who are subscribed to me. Who don't live in the United States. That's, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Because, again, that's not fair to my um, international subscribers. Because that's kind of like a slap in the face. Like, oh, you are not important to me like the ones in the United States are. No, you are all important to me. And I want it to be fair. <clears throat> I don't want to leave anyone out because I don't feel like that's right. Um, go Thursday to have more oral surgery done. But I will have uh, the video that I'm doing with Terry. I will have it uh, filmed beforehand. Um, so that, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about my having to talk through it or anything. Or, you know, not being able to talk through it. Or anything like that. Okay.
wipe that off so I don't glue that. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump the camera, guys. <clears throat> So I think that looks pretty good. You still see the sparkle underneath, but um, I don't know. I just think it adds something to the to the cover. So I'm gonna let that dry. And I guess while I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna back this because it's relatively thick. <clears throat> I probably. I shouldn't have put the eyelet in there if I was going to back that. Um, but that could be journaled on, I guess. I could uh, just ink around it and then add a, a uh, <coughs> something in the eyelet there. <coughs> So I've got this here that I got from AliExpress. It's called Rocket Red Gold. It's a real pretty red with gold in it. And a little bit of this actually goes a long way, really. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to put anything else on there or not. put some text maybe make some sort of a cluster or something And I've got some red, yep. Okay, where is my tiny attachment? There it is up there. <clears throat> And I can um, add a focal point, I think. This should be alright. <clears throat> so, do I have anything by way of pictures in here? Uh. have a little caterpillar I can add that I think it'd be all right I 
I've just got my uh, little glue bottle here, but I've got a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cosmic shimmer glue in here. I'm not wanting to. Um, wanting to come unclogged for some reason. <clears throat> I may have to um, soak that. Okay. I'll just use my fabric glue since it's working. So I'll just leave that off to the side. And I'm going to add a little piece of this lace or something <coughs> on the ends. Oops. Well, that doesn't quite tear like I was expecting it to. There we go. So set that off to the side. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if I can set that upright. Somewhere to dry. And then I can trim it down later. <clears throat> I need... I'm trying to remember where I put stuff. Because I've... Uh, clean some stuff out. Hmm. Well, also have some heart doilies that I could do something with.
<clears throat> figured I could glue some of these down. least Ugh, and then dry them you know and then I could um, figure out whether I wanted to use them as cards or pockets and um, this just lightweight cardstock um, I think it's 65 pound might be 80 pound. It's not super heavy though. Super thick. It's um uh printable, but this is a little bit smaller than uh, eight and a half by eleven. So it actually doesn't fit in my printer because my printer doesn't adjust uh to that size. It only will adjust for like photo paper. Um I have an HP printer, uh, but it works with, with my laptop, so. <clears throat> yes, I, uh, just a lovely thank you, thank you, thank you very much to Chestita for thinking of me and sending me the ephemera, the um, book covers and the little book pages to this Alice in Wonderland book. I love all different um, Alice in Wonderland books and stuff. Uh, simply because it is one of my favorite um, children's stories. Probably is my favorite children's story. Um, and so I pretty much like all versions of Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I liked, uh, you know, Tim Burton's version of Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I wasn't crazy about the girl who played Alice in the movies, so I didn't care for her too much. Um, but I adore Johnny Depp's acting. I don't really know him personally. I just know he's got a lot of drama surrounding himself right now because of, uh, you know, the defamation lawsuit and everything. I mean, I hope he wins, um, and I hope that she is charged with, you know, filing false police reports and stuff. I'm not saying that he's completely blameless in their relationship or anything, so I'm not about that, but, you know, I think they both need help, but I think what she did was wrong, but, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that, because I don't really care too much about celebrity. I don't really get starstruck and stuff. It's not, you know. I mean, I'm more likely to go gaga over musicians than actors because I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't really watch a lot of movies. I can't really say what the last movie was that I watched. Uh, probably would have been The Foreigner with Jackie Chan. That's probably the last movie that I watched, which was a good movie with uh, Pierce Brosnan and Jackie Chan. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just, I don't watch TV. I just, since Supernatural has been off the air, I haven't watched anything. I uh, tried to watch the final season of Lucifer, got halfway through it, and made me mad and I have not watched it since then. I was pretty upset. I'm not going to say anything in case you guys haven't watched that show. Uh, okay. So wait for that to dry and then I'll trim it out. So you get to watch me glue stuff so I guess it's pretty boring for you guys. But I haven't done a video in a while so Well, in about a week, I suppose it's been. Uh, now, I'm not saying that I don't go gaga over celebrities or anything. If I ever got the chance to see Poets of the Fall in concert, though, whew, I would totally be there. 
love, love, love their music. I love them, you know, individually as musicians. Um, Marcos Resto, who is the lead singer, is the only one who sings in the group. Um, but I absolutely adore watching the band themselves play. So, um, but, and they're all cuties. And they're all older. They're not, you know, a young band. They've been around for a long time. Um, not very widely popular in the United States. Uh, they are from Finland. And are considered kind of an alternative band. I'd probably uh, more group them more in like a metal. Uh, some people group them in pop. I don't see that. Actually, they're not really a pop band, so like I would like finish rock or alternative. Um, if it were me, I would classify them in the goth section, uh, only because of their lyrics. I don't care who you are, their lyrics are goth. Um. any way, shape, or form you want to look at it. Their lyrics are absolute gods. Uh, but he has an amazing voice. Uh, and he's a cutie pie. They're all cutie pies. Um, he does better than most musicians. He's 51, I think. Now, doesn't look it. Looks maybe 40 at the oldest. But that just shows you how much better people from other countries age than Americans do. And especially white Americans. We don't age very well. <clears throat> not worry about if any of these overlap. We're not trim them off or anything. Because... I can re-ink them. Looks like I knew I'd have smaller pieces. Okay. I don't know if that will fit on there. Nope. It will not. I don't think any more will. Oh, yeah, maybe. Nope. Aha. That will fit. Well, I would really wouldn't mind seeing Alice in Wonderland be turned into a musical. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool looking, I'd say. But I'm not sure who I would want um, as the actors or actresses in the musical. Um, who I would want to sing. Um, there are some uh, people, you know musical people that I absolutely adore like uh, Michael Gerber who was on Broadway he played on uh, the um, televised version or movie version of Cats the original Andrew Lloyd Webber he played a monkey strap so I, I absolutely adore him he has a wonderful singing voice too so I could probably see him doing a pretty decent Mad Hatter um Not sure who I'd want to play Alice, though, since uh, most of the actresses in that uh, were older. Well, I mean, Michael's older, too, but it's okay if he's older for the Mad Hatter, because the Mad Hatter is older than Alice, but I don't know. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to stop there, and I'll, I'll do the rest of this off-camera, and then uh, we'll determine... Uh, what you know they're gonna be I, and then when I come back I'll alter some playing cards and make some tags and 
um, see what else I might need before we decorate this baby. But anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I will see you guys back here. Uh, the next video, of course, will be uh, my collab with uh, Terry from Sweet Pea Papers. And if you guys have not watched her channel, I, guarantee, I, I um, highly recommend that you watch her channel. She does amazing work with um, flippy flappies, as we call them. Like, you know, the flip out books and things like that. If that's something that you guys are interested in learning. I highly suggest that you go watch her channel for the tutorials on those. And she also has PDFs, uh, you know, that has measurements and things like that on her Facebook group, which is um, facebook.com slash sweet pea papers. Um, I think. Or, you know, you can look up Facebook groups and then search under sweet pea papers. And um, it will show up. Um if you're not sure if that's her, her name is Terry S. Lee on Facebook. So, um, so anyway, um, yeah. So I highly recommend that you go follow her on Facebook and uh, subscribe to her channel. And you could learn how to do some really, really, really awesome flip outs and things. Um, she has wonderful ideas with pockets and you know, just the way she designs things and explains things and everything. Um, she just has a pretty awesome channel. Um, so I think that's everything, guys. So I will see you guys back here really soon. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.